I'm Nicole Gomez and this is your morning update for Thursday, April 22nd. We have an update to a horrible crash from overnight that killed two teenagers. Police say speed is a possible factor. This happened just before 930 last night along SeaWorld Drive. Police have confirmed both the driver and the passenger were 19 years old. They say the driver was heading west on SeaWorld Drive at a high rate of speed when he lost control of his truck and hit a light pole, then a street light. Both the driver and his female passenger died at the scene. Now to a look at the latest coronavirus numbers. There were 263 new cases reported yesterday. That was 2% of all testing. Right now, 187 people are hospitalized with the virus, and there were seven new deaths reported yesterday. County data shows we are at 42% of the way to reaching herd immunity. Right now, more than 846,000 people are fully vaccinated. We need to get to about 2 million. Well, California's Department of Health just updated its guidelines for people who are fully vaccinated. When it comes to workplaces, employees who are fully vaccinated will no longer count toward a business's capacity count. This also goes for employees at places like restaurants and gyms. There are also new rules impacting live events and theme parks, so people who live outside California can now attend our theme parks as long as they've been fully vaccinated. Before, theme parks could only open to in-state residents and indoor event venues can increase capacity to 50% if all guests are fully vaccinated or if they have a negative COVID test. Also, venues with specific sections for fully vaccinated people, like for instance, Petco Park, do not need to enforce social distancing in those sections, although masks are still required. Local student athletes will be able to compete in swim and dive championships after all. The CIF San Diego section said it will allow those competitions to go forward just three weeks after they had canceled them due to COVID. They're happening this weekend, Friday and Saturday at Granite Hills High. Now on this Earth Day, San Diego is taking new steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Today, Mayor Todd Gloria will announce a new pilot program to make the city's fleet of vehicles more environmentally friendly by using solar power to charge the city's electric cars. Now you can start booking tickets for Yosemite National Park. Now this is just in time for spring and summer vacations. The park's reservation system opened up yesterday. Starting May 21st, anyone visiting the park will need a day use reservation to enter. So this includes even if you have an annual or a lifetime pass, you're still going to have to book a reservation. The system will help officials manage visitation levels and reduce COVID concerns. Well, we will continue to bring you the latest news here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and those affecting our community. Stay safe and have a great day.